One of the things I got to say about my little honey baby is she's real good about not letting me run out of food. Uh, and here's what I mean by that. Back when we met up, I, we, I was, I was, we was both single. She had a place and I had a place and I used to cook here at the house and I did my own chopping all. And you know, if I ran out of pickles, I'd go buy five or six jars and I'd stick them in a the cabinet somewhere just to make sure I didn't run out again anytime soon. You know, same way just about everything I bought, I had a whole, oh, I had a whole cabinet full of tuna fish over there and such as that. My little wife, he came along and she realized that when she came along, we got together and moved in, she moved into my house, she realized that I didn't really have all that much storage space in this little kitchen. So she took over the shopping. And she somehow categorizes all the things that I like to eat and make sure I don't ever run out. Which is amazing to me because I don't know how she keeps up with it. But if I need some ketchup, we more than likely got some ketchup. <clears throat> and that pickle juice is good for you. I don't care what anybody says. If I need some mustard... We more than likely got mustard. If I need some tuna fish, we probably got some tuna fish. Just about any time I need anything. Well, honey baby, she done bought it and got it stocked up and got to put it away in the cabinet somewhere. So, she's real good that way. Every man that's got a good wife ought to thank his lucky stars. They ain't all got, they ain't all worth keeping. I've had a, well, I don't I probably won't get into that. I won't talk, I won't say anything more about that. I'll just say, every man's got a good wife, I'll thank you lucky stars, we'll leave it at that, okay? If I say anything more than that, I'm liable to be getting myself in trouble. More so than I normally do. I, I get myself in trouble all the time because I say things, you know? I say things that can be took in the wrong way, but they can also be took in the right way. And, well, either way you take them, it's the wrong way, pretty much. Sometimes when I say them, but anyway, I got a pickle chopping method. It's basically where I run my sharp knife between the twines of my fork and I cut my pickles like this here. Oh, just look at that. Oh, just look at it. I feel like a, I feel like a chef down at the Benny Hanna restaurant. Yeah, I do. Boy, I don't know how to handle them. a sharp blade. I'm just saying. Oh, ain't them lovely. Just look at them chopped up pickles. I bet y'all wish y'all had some. Okay, so my pickles is ready. Man, I like that pickle juice. Y'all drink pickle juice? It's good. Ah, clean your sinuses out. Real good. The next thing I'm going to need some mayonnaise. I like this Hellman's mayonnaise. This here is made with some olive oil in it. That just gives you more. It gives you more oomph in your stuff, you know. A little olive oil in your mayonnaise. I guess I need to open me a couple of cans of this here tuny fish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. Honey baby went to the doctor the other day and she had some kind of surgical procedure performed inside of her mouth. It doesn't sound like anything I want to talk about or think about much, but I suspect it was probably pretty painful, but what the what the doctor, the dentist told her is not to eat nothing but soft foods for a while. Well I, I think eating nothing but soft food sounds pretty horrible. I think she's supposed to do it for about a month. So I figured I'd whip up some tuna noodle pea. That's pretty soft, you know. Uh, and and we just have it around the house. That way, you know, I could eat a little bit of it for my own enjoyment. And it'd be a little bit around in case Honey Baby wants to eat something. And, you know, she's looking for something that she can eat. So that's my plan. She's up to church tonight. They're having a kind of a pre-Easter kind of dinner or some kind of thing up here tonight, a Seder meal, I think is what they call it. She's been organizing all that. Uh, where was I? I think I was right in the midst of talking about my ingredients. Okay, tuna fish, pickle, mayonnaise, that all? You know, you can throw other things in there if you're a mind to. If you want to chop up an onion and put it in there, you could. If you want to chop up some olives, they're pretty good in there. If you wanted to uh, put some hot peppers in there, you could. Um, I'll, some, I'll occasionally put stuff like corn in there and things like that. But uh, I think I'm just going to keep it simple. Some uh, noodles, tuna fish, pickles, mayonnaise. If I think of anything else that needs to be in there, I will. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now because my water is ain't, it ain't boiled up yet. As soon as it boils up, 
I'll pour my noodles in there and we'll let them cook. Oh, look at the little boiling things, little bubbles. Oh, it's just like watching Sea Hunt. I bet Mike Nelson's down in the bottom of that pot there. Bless his heart. <laughs> Wee.